Still a few months away from the start of hockey season, but the Minnesota Wild are looking to get it done in the community before getting it done on the ice. Clayton Castle was at the organization's first Wild on the Water fishing tournament this past weekend. It was a wild scene out on the lake this past weekend as the Minnesota Wild held its first annual Wild on the Water Bass Fishing Tournament at Izadis Resort on Mille Lacs Lake, benefiting the Minnesota Wild Foundation. I think it's, it's important for every team to do this in the community. I mean, uh, we've got the opportunity and the ability to do that. I mean, as, as an organization and a team, and the, and the fans love to see players in a different element. So I think, uh, uh, I think it's incumbent on us to, to do it rather than just stay at the same, uh, going and playing hockey and going home. I think we owe it to the people and we owe it to trying to raise money to do these kind of things. The tournament featured a wild alumni team led by Keith Ballard, a wild current coaches team led by head coach Bruce Boudreau, and a wild current players team led by Jason Zucker. The tournament began early in the morning and ended in the early afternoon with the players team coming out on top. Out of the multiple player boats, it was Kyle Rowell's boat that came out on top with a total combined weight of 13.32 pounds of fish. While the tournament is fun and relaxing for the organization, the players know the value of doing events in the community. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you see it a lot when you get to, to any smaller town. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter what size town it is, really. I mean, just overall, everyone seems to uh, really follow the team and just, and just have a big joy with that. The festivities lasted through the afternoon, but now with the tents collapsed and the music stopped, the Wild are turning their attention to the upcoming season. Yeah, six weeks, I think. Uh, six, seven weeks, uh, we'll, be, we'll be back at it. So, I mean, but I don't think a coach's mind ever shuts off when it comes to hockey. So we're thinking of ways to improve the team all the time. And, uh, but uh, actually, after you've had a couple months off, it's time to get back. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's crazy. Summer always flies by so quick. But, um, you know, it's good. We're really excited. We've got a new team, um, you know, a couple new faces coming into this year. So we're really excited about that. Um, you know, it should be, should be a good training camp for us. And I think we're all going to try to relax the next few weeks and just get ready to go. Reporting at Mille Lacs Lake, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Thanks, Clayton. The Wild will look to build on last year's 49 regular season wins before a first round exit to the Blues. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.